Dear students, good evening. Welcome to Law Excellence IAS. Let us do the editorial analysis for today. That is December 31st. The first article for discussion in the new evolving world. India needs a new vision. So what is this evolving world? What is the vision which is necessary for India? Let us try to analyze this. Previously, especially 1990s, you remember, that was the era where LPG, that is liberalization, privatization and globalization, has become a gospel. Today, this era has come to an end. Now, West is preaching for economic nationalism and also they are imposing sanctions and promoting the local industry. And if you see Russia-Ukraine war, the war has weaponized the trade. What is meant by weaponization of the trade? The West is able to impose sanctions against Russia and Russia is able to bargain with its oil to the European Union. So in these circumstances, China it is trying to create something called China-centric world. What is this China-centric world? It wants to create new institutions that can determine the world order. In these circumstances, Russia and China are coming together. So, what is the reason for this China-centric world order? The economic might of the China is the major reason. Now, what India shall do in these circumstances? On one side in India, inequalities are raising. The second thing is, communal harmony issues are been coming up. Or communal disharmony, polarization of the people is also increasing. And this scenario, what we shall do? The reason for inequalities have to be searched for. The capitalism... Without distribution of the wealth is the major reason. Growth without having a focus on development is the reason. So from capital and finance derived economic growth to labor centric economic production has to be given priority. That is the critical thing to control the rising inequalities. And on the other side, if economic growth has to come, then the peaceful environment is essential. So this peaceful environment and order in the society, it will attract the investments and capital. So for this, we have to ensure communal harmony. So the external security and internal security, if they are good, then that attracts investments, which in turn provides for economic growth. Again, what is the biggest advantage of India? It has got huge market after China. So the market can be its bargaining tool. Using market as the bargaining tool or market access as the bargaining tool, India has to derive its new geo-economic strategy. So in this new geo-economic strategy, what India has to focus on getting new technology and capital from other countries. And added to that, if India has to fight its poverty, illness, disease and everything, what are required, decentralization is required. And this decentralization always shall be coupled with accountability. Decentralization and accountability put together, we have to create robust institutions. We shall avoid the temptation for centralization. Robust working institutions with decentralization and accountability will ensure the better outcomes for India. The next article is, a strong case exists for marriage equality. If you see this Navatej Singh Johar case, what we say, it has decriminalized the homosexuality in India. Section 377 of Indian Penal Code was struck down and it has provided for new liberty. In this case, on what grounds the Supreme Court has struck down 377? One is on liberty and privacy. And the second important thing is equality. When we take liberty and privacy, we consider that as individual thing where state shall not interfere. As the ground is also on equality, it means a responsibility is kept on the state to ensure level playing field between heterosexuals and homosexuals. The principle of equality means that. In this scenario, the sequential rights from right to equality, right to marriage, right to adopt children and right to have or else right to have inheritance, all these comes from equality rights. 
So the consequential rights of right to equality has to be maintained even for homosexual community. Then the second most important thing over here is um, the heterosexuals and homosexuals. This is a sexuality based differentiation. Under Article 14, any kind of unequal treatment, it has to be based on a reasonable classification. So sexuality cannot be a basis for this unequal treatment. It is an unreasonable classification. That's how it has been stated as. Next is bad to worse. Benjamin Netanyahu has become the Prime Minister of Israel again. This is the sixth term he is becoming the Prime Minister. So he belongs to Likud party. If you see the coalition, what it consists of, all of them are extremist right-wing parties. Most of them are right-wing extremist Zionist parties. Because of this, the Israel-Palestine problem is going to be exaggerated, for, exaggerated further. And second, the agenda of this government is also to dilute the powers of judiciary. So dilution of powers of judiciary, lack of stance to accommodate different interests and protection of the interests of the minorities, it can ultimately push Israel as a theocracy, a Jewish theocracy which is elected. Theocracy means a country that is ruled by a religion. So that is how it is turning itself into. Next is precipice of shame. So Indian cup syrup, it has led to deaths of children in Gambia and Uzbekistan. In this scenario, remember one point, India is often described as the pharmacy of the world. If we have to keep up this reputation, these kind of things have to be avoided. And next, the other side of the sanctuary. You know that Western Guards committee was there. That is called Western Guards Ecology Expert Panel. Madhav Gadgil was the chairman. What he said is, every protected area shall have eco-sensitive zone surrounding it. And operations, human interventions and human action has to be very minimal in this area. The Supreme Court gave the judgment to create a co-sensitive zone of 1 km surrounding every protected area. Obviously, once this zone is created, the forest service officers are going to have control over this. And many of the settlements which are there in this area are agricultural farmlands which are there in this area. They are going to face tough times from the forest bureaucracy. Those are the concerns which are being raised. These are the articles for today. Happy New Year. Have a good day.